Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today I am sort of giving the ants a little clean, feeding them and giving you a bit of an update. So what I like to do, I'm going to expose them. <laughs> Sorry guys. Now they have a little bit of honey. They usually eat all their food so it's not an issue but they do collect any of their dirt and their honey at the end. So what I do is I take a little q-tip or cotton bud, dip it in some water and we're gonna make sure there's no workers about. I think I'll try it with uh, Olive first because she doesn't have any workers and I'll just pop it in and clean it up. I don't know how well you can see it, but it looks like the honey kind of solidified and just sort of came off as a whole. So, lovely. Now, before I feed them, I will give you a little update on each ant. So, Olive, the harvester ant queen, um, she's been very secretive. She has been pulling out lots of cotton, which a lot of you guys said harvester ants do that. Um, but I think she's hiding eggs under there. And the reason I think that is because after I uploaded the last video... I swear I saw her carrying something that looked like an egg in her mouth. So maybe she's being secretive, maybe she's, you know, covering them up. So we'll leave her to it, we'll feed her, and maybe some workers may emerge. Liz and her colony are quite similar. As you can see, she has a lot of workers, and there's actually even more just under this cotton here where Liz is actually hiding. And when I had a look the other day, I swear I could see like a pupa or a cocoon so maybe we have more workers on the way but I'm gonna feed these guys and try to get some even closer footage for you now in terms of feeding the ants I have been feeding them uh, just freshly killed baby mealworms Oops. and I cut the head off first because one I don't want the mealworm to be biting the ants and two I don't want it to see that it's been eaten. Is, is that a weird thing to worry about? Um, so I give that to them. But if you do have any recommendations of better insects I can use, let me know. As I said, it is chopped up so they can access the insides of the mealworms quite easily. And in a previous video, Olive got hold of it, ate it pretty much like a noodle. Um, they seem to do well with it. But as I said, I'm open to your advice. So if you do think there's something better, let me know. Of course, Previously, I have learned not to give them worms from outside. It's really weird, but something I noticed, sorry, I'm just preparing food over here. But something I noticed is when my videos weren't doing, like, when I wasn't doing very well with my ants, so when they kept dying, um, the video, the views for those videos are so much higher than when I'm actually being successful with them. So that's a little disappointing. Um, but also, over the years, I have to say, you know, Ants Canada has grown really really well the content he produces i mean it's amazing amazing quality and i cannot compete um, so maybe that's why the views are down i don't know i want to do this without the workers escaping it's very difficult when you have a lot of workers um but yeah with anything with my ants you know i'm not i'm obviously not a professional you are literally just watching someone learn all about ant keeping god we have an escapee Oh my god, one is actually grabbing the food off the stick. Okay, if you can keep grabbing, this would be amazing. Now, as I said, when it comes to Olive, she's definitely secretive. I'm not going to turn her test tube upside down and try to see if she has eggs. I'm going to just leave it, see if workers come around. Maybe she's laying eggs and eating them again. I think she has a habit of doing that. Um, but it would be nice to see her colony actually um, 
come to something and actually thrive. But yeah, as I said, when it comes to Olive, she's certainly up to something, but we don't really know exactly what that is. I could tip her test tube upside down and see the eggs if there are some, but I kind of just don't want to disturb her. Um, I pretty much just, with the ants, I feed them, and the only time they really get exposed to light is when I film them. But um, yeah, I'm just going to leave Olive to do her thing. It looks like Liz's workers has got that millworm already back to the bridge. You can see a few of them actually. There's a few little larvae there, but and you can kind of see Liz's butt. <laughs> so she's in there, but she's definitely just keeping dark, keeping out of it. Um, and uh, there seems to be a fairly big, healthy brood. Here's a slightly different angle. So once again, you can kind of see how deep this goes. If sort of made this like two levels so Liz can go right under there, the brood's under there and the workers can go above. So it's nice to see them sort of doing something, the food's are ready for the brood, the workers are doing really well. But yes, I wish this was a bit more entertaining, I wish there was more to update you on. I don't want to stress the ants too much so I tend to only try to film them once in a while like today. Um, but as I said at the start, if you have any suggestions for food, for insects and to feed the ants what will be good please let me know um one thing i did notice in the last video is someone said not to use honey with the harvest ant queen and that they only drink sugar water and then someone made a bit of a snide remark but the problem with ants is i find that there's so much conflicting information you can read a load of forums a load of care sheets and they'll say use this and then someone will come along and say no it's completely wrong so it's hard to know for sure i'm i'm trying to do my best here things are going well for liz but yes anyway thank you for watching guys and goodbye <laughs>